Say hello, Jim. Hey, Fergie. He's just, just come up. Just come up. Brian's out, sending. Had a cup of tea. He's <laughs> been playing the green room. Sold out. Everyone stayed in from two o'clock to seven o'clock. No one went. The hideaways were fantastic. I like the faces, the hideaways. They had a good time, rock and roll band. Yeah. And they're brilliant, you know, and they're all good lads. What was uh, Judd there? Did land there? Judd was on. Yeah. He done the, he done the uh, Karma Chameleon and the other one. The theme tune to Top of the Pops and all that. Because he was he was on that Karma Chameleon record, wasn't he? He right? played the God on that. That's right, yeah. I think he, he was selling us, he got 30 quid and it was number one all over the world. <laughs> 30 quid? Yeah, he got 30 session fee at the time, yeah. Mm, that's true. I think it was 300. Well, we were yeah. just saying uh, we've got that thing on Liverpool beat when you were at the, uh, the, the Liverpool One TV show with Billy Butler. Oh, right, uh, yeah. And you were telling me one, uh, one, Ray two, Sawyer two. was there, is that right? That's right. Uh, Doctor Who, Ray Sawyer, Dennis Lacorrier. And we did the gig and Ray Sawyer was on with us that night and uh, with Billy Butler and that. He was at the Atlantic on the Dock Road and um, Ray Sawyer said to, to us, get your band, we're going for a drink and so this is about one o'clock in the morning to the uh, saloon bar and I said, they've gone home, you know. And he said, well, get a couple of guitarists. So we went in and he said, I'm doing this number, just back us on it. And he did, Sylvia's mother. And that was number one all over the world. That. And I was sitting there playing the drums and I thought, what a fantastic it, thing to be. Was it his really? It was yeah. great. And we got uh, Davey Whitehead and uh, Gary Potter on that on guitar. Oh, yeah. And we, we, we backed him. And I thought, what a fantastic really. It was like when I did the gig with Ian and the Zodiacs and Les McGuire did um, Don't Let the Sun Press You Cry, I think. I think it was that one. And uh, he was playing it and I filled in that night with them. And I thought, I'm playing drums here to an original song, one of the greatest songs in the world that's ever been written. And this, that's the fellow who wrote, wrote it, playing on keyboards. And that's what makes it all worthwhile. You yeah, never know, Charlie might let you sit in on Please Stay. <laughs> <laughs> now, well, he's another drummer, Charlie. I never step on anyone's toes. Well, you get asked, you get asked. Well, or you two, don't we push. could do two sets of drums, couldn't we? Like, hey, you know, that'd be good, wouldn't it? It's not the side of the stage. Yeah, yeah. Hey, who does that, the glitter band? Yeah. We could do with two sets of drums on every gig and get the other drummer up. There's always drummers sitting out in the audience itching to get up, aren't they? You know what I mean? But uh, Frankie Gonner was asking me today about my Ludwig kit. Yeah. 1971, the same kit as Get Back. Yeah. The Beatles on the roof. And Jackie Lomax was telling me last week, he said, uh, when they were on the roof, he was up there with them and he was sitting on the set. And this uh, Mal Evans is at the roadie. Yeah. He's like a, a barn door, you know. Yeah. And this police tried to get on the roof, and it's just one doorway up to the roof. And Jackie was sitting there next to Mal, Mal was standing there, and he said, No one gets near my lads. And I believe Mal Evans, that's what he called the Beatles, my lads. And he looked after them, didn't he? It's like yeah. today, Horse Fashion was there in the, the green room. Yeah. And he looked after all the lads, didn't he? You know? Yeah. yeah. And if you do that to the Beatles and the Undertakers and the Paul Tunes, the Searchers, the Hollies, you've got, to, you've got to look after them, you know what yeah. I mean? And that's why they're all going over there with the grind shaved hopefully in April and they're all playing there in April for 50 years and uh, I think Jackie Lomax is coming as well is uh, he? over there now yeah he's had uh, talks with that's why his manager's here and he's had talks with horse and he's going over there and I've been mean, already been told that his name's up on all the, all the posters and all the publicity in Hamburg is that Mike all, Pendleton? all the tickets all the tickets have gone yeah. from like three quarters sold to sold really all of them, yeah over wow. in Germany for all the clubs you know what I mean Ooh. that went on we're on five clubs and three of the owners are over there this weekend they've been to our gigs but they might be uh, some of the uh, playing in, the, in town and, and they're coming there as well so you know they've been to every gig horse but when we went to Webs neither horse um, looked after us there and that was only like say 10 years ago so you know we looked after all that in the 60s and when we went to Wave Street it was the first time I played with the Undertakers that was the first year we went that was about 2003 and when we got there it, it just went like you got a stamp you stamped your hand and took us into Hamburg I said you don't pay for anything you show that so Chris Evans you know great guitarist yeah, Chris yeah. and uh, he said we went to the Stein and we were staying in the hotel and it was about 2 then half 2 in the morning because we'd been playing at Web Street and we'd had a meal with John Franklin and all the lads you know it was an experience for me and uh, 
I went to the hotel to get my head down, knock on the door, and it's Chris Evans. He said, What are you doing? I said, I'm going to bed. He said, You know, you're coming out onto the Reaper Bar, and the head of and he took me to this little pub. You could barely get 20 people in there, and there was about 100 in there, you know. He said, This is my favourite drinker in the, in the, the Reaper Bar. And when we got to the door, there was like a fella on the door with a patch over his eye and all this, and it was all ex gangsters and all that. But like, he said, And you just showed your, your hand, just got what you wanted. Went for a meal, showed your hand, said, any, any, uh, Anything you want, just uh, show the stamp on your hand, it's all paper. Well, that's all special. What I'm getting at, he's over here now. I've got to look after people like that, although I wasn't there in the 60s. Well, you know, it's, it's, a, it's an honour and a pleasure to still be playing live music. You know, I had a load of people come onto the other movie and say, Where can yeah. we see? The Mersey beat over the Matthews Street weekend. Yeah. And I said, The Green Room. You gotta go to the Green That's Room. That's right, yeah. And uh, two of them came back and said, It's gone. Full. £10 a ticket. Everywhere else in the town's free. Yeah. You sold out a £10 a ticket. Yeah. What does that tell you? Well, they were trying to get in the back doors and everywhere, you know, the fire exits and everything. People trying to come in. But Bella Marsden was on today. Yeah. She was fantastic and she's just got a record deal with, with uh, she told me the name of the records. And I was she was there today and he asked her, will she come to Hamburg now? Oh, so well. he's getting Jackie, he's getting Bella. And I don't know bands like that who got them records in the charts. And also, when you think of the uh, Nersey Beat here with all the musicians, how friends they are with all the German people. Not long after the war, when you think of the 40s to the 60s, and no one gives credit to all the musicians, the Scouse musicians, who went over there and built bridges with all the Germans, yeah. and how friendly they are now. And, and that, no one ever mentions that. And it's, you know, it's a good, it's a good thing, you know, and it's still lasting to this day. Heard a rumour that uh, a certain Beatle might turn up. Well, that's what they always say that, but <laughs> it have been 50 years. Paul said he's, uh, he was at a concert somewhere in Germany, and he went on the door and he said, tell Paul, Horst, Horst is, uh, is here, he wants some tickets. And about five minutes later, he came down with two tickets for him, for the shop, VIP tickets. So they don't forget, do they? You know. McCartney and all them fellas. They, they still know, the feet are still on the ground. It's the only people know. who've forgotten uh, Liverpool City Council. Yeah, yeah, of course. But I mean, we all know we all know the situation there. I mean, if they listen, Brian Jones, Jeff Newton, Jackie Lomax, all these original '60s musicians should be looked after, used and, and employed as ambassadors and given a good wage because they're the ones who were there in the '60s and made it all happen and all their efforts, you know. And they never got any money, you know what I mean? It was all from the heart and the guts, and they all played in them clubs which were just sellers with you know what you know what it was like in the 60s there but they did it for the love of it and now it's all big money obviously so they should look after them lads you know what i mean and make them ambassadors but inviting all the foreign people in who come in and all the scousers don't forget the scousers never forget the scousers jimmy that's brilliant go and drum nice see one. you later, see you later. <laughs>